Hello and welcome to the AutoNet Tools online video tutorials. I'm Michael Shrum, Territory Manager and Trainer for the Feldman Automotive Group. The next sub section we're going to go over here is um, basically just how to upload your photos every day. So over on the left here we have all the vehicles that I completed today, uh, just the new and then on the right here I have Viato, which is already up. I'm under the Merchandising Photo Management tab. And I just went ahead and cleared out all the filters except uh, retail. So all I'm doing here is I'm on number three. I'm just going to transcribe that over here. Click go. And now it's going to get me my 2015 Chevy Camaro. From here I just click on add images. And once this comes up, you see here I'm, I'm nice and organized. This is where kind of the organization of the folders is going to pay off. If I was just looking at my desktop like this, you can see how I can go from AutoNet tools. I can locate today, which is the 26th by uh, August. Falls within the 16th to the 31st, 26, J new. And then I can locate uh, 138, which is right here. And there it is. All I need to do is click on the check mark or checkbox to the left of the stock number and then deselect the um, the stock number picture itself in the VIN photo go ahead and click upload and this process typically takes around 30 to maybe 40 seconds at the high end on a slower internet connection um, see here this was only that was about 10 seconds from start to finish and then it's just gonna wrap everything up here this last photo there we go. Um, saving. This is automatically going to go into your. Um, you kind of have like a little scrap area over to the right. You can upload more photos on the original uh, upload if you want to do multiple cars in one upload, but that does take a bit longer. This way, I found is um, a good way to stay pretty much organized. So all I did was highlight over on the right there, and you see if I attempt to drop it down here, it's just going to uh, dump it back over in the photo scratch area. The only way I'm going to be able to dump it properly is um, to put it over in the upper uh, left-hand corner here. You see it turns into a green check mark. And again, this will take a couple seconds, and there it is. Just at a glance here, I can hover my mouse over, make sure the watermark looks good, my angling looks good. If I don't like the watermark, I can double-click this, click on watermark, and I can actually change this. Um, for most automotive groups, these are going to be preset, so don't uh, don't go messing around with these if you don't have to. Just leave it with uh, leave it at at what it was originally, because they're typically going to uh, want that to be throughout, throughout all the dealerships there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Actually, I can just close that because I didn't change anything. And from there, all I'm going to do is save and close. And pretty much rinse and repeat. So if I want to make sure that, uh, that I did upload it and want to make sure it's in there, I'll just click go again. You see it changed from 0 to 41 photos. And now we know that uh, the photos are online and, and ready to go. So if you have any additional questions about how to get this accomplished, just contact your local territory manager.